Hello, Guardians. So welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. Before we move on to the goodies of this video, let me first cover an apology to all of the players or to those who have uh, mentioned a comment or who have said that I don't know what I'm talking about in terms of why am I criticizing um, Snowbreak for having less content, for not putting out much content. Again, the only reason why I criticize, it's because, number one, I want these guys to succeed. I want, I'm actually challenging these guys to succeed into putting out content. Take, I um, just want to, you know, give you guys an idea. I've been covering gotcha games for three years. I've seen gotcha games. Um, I've seen gotcha games really succeed or really fail in just a blink of an eye. So the only reason why I'm I'm so critical about content is because honestly, I love this game. I love how the concept is done, the content and everything. Again, um, let's just leave it at that. So uh, at this point, I want to apologize if, if you think that I'm just here to say negative comments about the game. No, I love this game. I want them to succeed. I want to play this game for the next few years, probably three, five years. I want them to succeed. They are unique. They are, you know, they are tr a trendsetter in this type of gotcha at this point, third person shooter. So I'd like them to succeed, period. Let's leave it at that. So I hope you accept my apology and let's go to the meat of this video. So recovering content. So we've had a teaser yesterday drop for um for the content for you know the upcoming update on i think it's going to be in september 23 21 not sure forgot but again let's break down the content on what they have and i have my again i have my i have noticed some of the things out in that content okay guys so we're here with chasing light and shadow so this is the content that i'm talking about let's go back a few frames from this one because we need to see um that one okay so as you see there this is kind of a map for open world um scenario or mode we do see here a temporal rift um on the upper right hand side and you see it here but there are several checkpoints here indicated on the map so I'm assuming probably these are just mission items that you need to go to or just uh, markers. But I'm also assuming that the, this could be capture the flag or a capture the flag scenario. So we might be able to see capture the flag and hold a specific point for a, you know, a specific uh, amount of time. So that is why I am thinking that there can be capture the flag or can be open world or probably both in one content. So take note, guys, that this one, Chasing Light and Shadow, should be a permanent content in the game. Because again, if, uh, if it's going to be a limited content again, this will just rotate out after the event ends. So I just hope that this is a permanent, um, you know, permanent game mode that we can enjoy. We can probably have, you know, um, co-op or something with this content as well, or probably have teams go around. So the potential for chasing a lighted shadow is actually boundless, I tell you. So again, I'm excited for this one. This will be a game changer for the game. This will really make you explore a lot of areas if this is going to be open world. So Shrouded City Sweep is your usual content uh, for the limited content that is dropping. So this one, I'm not really, really, um, what do you call this? I'm not really going to say that this is going to stay. Probably this is going to leave after the limited content is over. Also for Foolish Mayhem, this one I think is co-op and this belongs to Gigalink or another version of Gigalink. Okay guys, I just want to go back to Chasing Light and Shadows. So this is from um, the Chinese version, the trailer. So this one explores more of uh, Chasing Light and Shadow 
basically, again, a lot of things to consider here uh, going around and also new maps to consider. This one, I think, belongs to the co-op um, thing that I mentioned for Gigalink. And again, there are going to be a lot of content in this game. Uh, this has more highlights, actually. Also, guys, you need to know that there's a dorm system uh, happening. And I just hope that they put more content to the dorm. Not just additional aesthetics, but more gameplay, perhaps. And again, lastly, I hope that they put out a roadmap for the game, considering that they have a lot of things going on already. Okay, guys, so that is it for um, the breaking down of the new update. So what do you think of the new content? Do we really have a possibility for open world or for capture the flag? Or if you think that there are possible contents that is coming out, or probably as you see what I presented um, could decipher what other contents is possible, put them down in the comment section below and we will discuss. So thank you very much, guys. Guardians for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.